Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. And the reason I always say the Vintage Paper Girl is that's how you find me on Instagram. All right. Well, also how you find me here. I hope you're all well, doing wonderful. How is everybody? So today I want to share with you a bunch of stuff I've been making and give you the news of what's going on and, you know, what we're going to be working on soon. You know, stuff like that. Catch you up. We'll have a little catch up video. Okay. So I thought I'd share with you with some things that are going to go into my shop and um, our shop. <laughs> the shop. The shop. Design, journal, and supply. So um, these are going to be in there in a day or so after you see this video. It's just a matter of me doing the video, taking the photos of everything so you can see what it is in a little more close-up, and doing the write-up, and then Jolene has to put it on Etsy. So it'll be on our Etsy. Okay, so not these. These are something I got in uh, that I ordered, and so I wanted to share those with you, but I'll do that after I share the things that I've been making. Now, if you remember, this is these are actually finish it up projects. I finally finished a bunch of things, so I wanted to share those with you. Gosh, I don't even know where to start. Well, I think I, I don't know which one I did first, so let me set this aside. This is our biggie, so we'll put that over there for a minute. But I don't know if you remember, I did a video called um, File Folder pouches for storage and these were the ones I had started in my video my original ones which I showed you you know I keep cardboard and all kinds of things in well of course you I don't need these because I you know I'm not using them in my studio so I decided to fill them full of ephemera so this is the first one I did and the one I believe I did with you on video and so you could see all the pretties that we have here there is a bit of stickles on it and it's filled with ephemera. So let me show you. Oh yeah, and there's the back. So you can see, and this is beautiful, beautiful. Um, I wanna say this is Italian bridal lace, blue marin. And then there's our back and it's stitched up the sides. Okay, so these are the pieces that I made to go in it. And this one is a lovely pocket. Now these things can all be put in another journal, used as is, written on as is, you know, whatever you want to do with it. Sent as a gift. I have this one. Huge tag. It's pretty. All heavily decorated, as you know my style. I love this one. I'm so in love with it. I made it out of a really heavy card double-sided. Isn't it beautiful? You could write on this very easily with dark pen. And then we have some dangles. I made some pretty little, um, of course, you know, they always get tangled up when you want to show them, right? So we have a pretty heart and we have the word majestic and delightfully hopeful. And this is a pretty velvet um, little dangle or bookmark or whatever you want to use it for, right? And then, of course, we have our, our charm. So those all come inside of that one. So that's what's in this pretty little pocket. She's storing ephemera, and this will go get sold as a set in the shop. Again, I didn't hold this up very close, so this is the shop. Start watching for it. I will get it up there as fast as I can. It just takes a long time to put something in the Etsy shop, yikes. Okay, now this one's a little bit more simple, but she's beautiful. She's got some gorgeous roses. She's got a bit of stickles, pearls, all kinds of pretty things. She has a belly band in the front with two. Let me see if I can get them out. There we go. Two. Let me get them out. I'm standing up, so two tags that you can be written on. They're all inked and cut and backed and lovely. All right, so those are going the belly band. Then on the back is another belly band, and there is one large card that you could write on or use in a journal, on a journal cover, whatever you want to do with it. It's basically ephemera. Oh, I love the way this belly band came out. I am so in love with it. Okay, so we have that one. Then you turn it over and you open it up, and we have, the, you saw me make these in a video. <clears throat> They're all decorated up. And it's got bunches of little bits of ephemera pieces. We have some 
fussy cuts. And then I have this pretty little tag, which I made. Again, everything's backed. So, and then on this side, you have another tag. That, and you have this lovely little circle you could write on. So it's all just, you know, oh wait. And then in the middle, we have another tag, all roses. This one's a rose theme, very much so, very much uh, a rose theme. Okay, I forget how I have this in here. <laughs> okay, we'll put that back in there. That goes in there. And then we'll put that there. All right. So I hope you're all doing well. Everybody's safe. I know there's been horrific everything everywhere going on. Gosh tornadoes and everything. I thought I'd chat a minute while I put that back to it. So there's that piece. It's a lovely little pocket. Then we have a card with a belly, another belly band. Plenty of room to write. Another writing card. Pretty little bits and pieces on it. And pearls and bits and pieces. They are so much prettier in person than they are in here. Then we have this long tag. Beautiful lady. Lots of pearls. A little acrylic doohickey and then you write on the back okay so this is what's in each of these lovely pouches i'm gonna put these and then they go inside the bag so they'll get sold as a set too oh and you can see the top of that because i couldn't see that before uh, that's an applique with some pearls and pretty bits and laces vintage these are this is a vintage lace these are vintage. There's a lot of vintage things in here and non-vintage as well, of course. This is vintage as well. So there you go. So we have that. <clears throat> so I finished those. I worked hard all weekend to get them all done, all decorated and ready to go for the shop. So like I said, as soon as I get a minute or two or three <laughs> or 20, I'll get those going. Then I finished our big, remember this paper bag? Um, ephemera holder that I started, oh my gosh, I think in February, she is tied with a beautiful vintage satin rose from the 70s and 80s. She's pink. It's pink. This is very pink and rose. There's a little bit of blue in here, but this bag is decorated to the max. This is a white bag, and we, for a while there, we had for sale the, um, what do you call them? The vellum, um pages that you could put over your bag to decorate the vellum decoration bag decorating uh, kits I don't know if there's any in the shop you'll have to go look but anyway that's what I used and oh well this one I didn't this is actually a um gold vellum polka dot vellum that I had but then we made up our own because we couldn't get that anymore and we couldn't get the polka dot bags so this was to substitute polka dot bags so it is decorated to the hilt. Got one of my beautiful butterflies. There's vintage little applique under there. We've got photos and I'm, there's just all kinds of stuff and lace. The back is um, stamped or what do you wanna call it, stenciled. And then I added some pockets with cards. There's a big pocket back here for the cards. Another one here. All of these are journal cards meant to be written on. So there is a little bit of blues here and there's, you know, on here. Big pockets you can add more things to. This would be a great gift for someone who likes, who wants to, to make a journal, but they don't have any ephemera or the ability, you know. Um, and then you flip it open. Now, I don't think it's going to fit on here. This is made with three paper bags. So there is... A paper bag one wrapped around it and then one tucked in the top I do have videos on this so you're gonna have to go look for them if you're interested paper bag ephemera holder is what I believe I called it so um, anyway you can see all the goodies there are a lot of different um, a lot of the roses are from shabby dabby doodah some of the other things are from oh let's see if I can remember um, from Junk Journal Studios, from, um, I'm just looking, oh, uh, Happiness and Crafting, and then a number of other designers. So when you open it up, you have a pocket up here, and I have loaded it with some pretty postcards. These are digital 
that I have worked very hard on to make look old that you could write on. So those are in here. They're inked and printed on special parchment printer paper, cardstock. I'm going to put those back in there. So they go in the top. Then you open it up and you have, now there was supposed to be five pockets here, but I messed up. There's five, there's supposed to be six. I accidentally closed a pocket when I was putting on one of these pieces. I ended up closing up the pocket. So it's like, uh-oh. <laughs> so you can see when, I mean, look at all of this yumminess. I hope it's focusing. Look at all this yumminess. Oh my gosh. I didn't count how many pieces were in here. I've lost track, but I will pull them out. Hopefully I can get them back in. So these are all bits of ephemera that I have made on various videos. This one here, we have a lot of these we did together, you know, when I was filling up the bag. So like this is all full of ephemera. Then I have this one. It has a little belly band and it has some ephemera in it. And then you open it up and you have pockets. So you got a little pocket, like a little tuck there. And then you got one, two, three pockets full of goodies and lace and all kinds of fun stuff. I probably won't go into too, too much detail because the person who gets it will, you know, look at everything. And then this one's got goodies in it and it's got some pretty ladies and um, this is antique music paper and just all kinds of goodies from all different designers. And then see this pocket here is the one that ended up closing up a pocket. Oops. And then we have a pretty butterfly, one of my butterflies that I make on paper clip. So I have that. I'll leave that so I'll see if I can. And then we have more. Oh, wait, that went to a piece that I just pulled out here. It goes in there. Oopsie. <laughs> Oopsie. So um, this one, and it's got all kinds of beautiful things in it and cards and roses and all to write on, right? So everything's writable. So I'm going to put that all back. Well, no, I'm not. I wish I could. I'll try to. Eh. So then we have this one over here, and she's a lovely lady. And she actually can be tucked over a page. I just used a little paper clip to keep her from fall, you know, to keep her on, on the pocket. So you have a pocket here and a pocket here. So there's two right there. There was supposed to be three. Whoopsie. <laughs> and then we have this beautiful piece, which I've shown on a number of videos, and it's full of fussy cuts and in the middle is a beautiful, I, this one's on Instagram if you want all the details on that one. And then there's this one. Isn't she pretty? All real pretty images. So that goes in the middle there. Okay. Then I have decorated the bag with beautiful roses and I fussy cut roses, pearls, and lace. All right. And then at the top, at the top, we've got this lovely... Um, pocket. It's got one, two, three, four bits in it. It's got three cards and two bottles of perfume. I thought there was a third. Oh, there's a third bottle of perfume, all fussy cut out. But I'm not going to show everything. You're going to have to buy it to see it, right? <laughs> and you've seen me make most of these, I would say, if not all of them, in a video. So if you're watching me on a regular basis, you know what all of these goodies look like. Oh, you saw these. These were the bags. And it is got some beautiful um, postcards in it to write on. And it's a pretty little bag you can add more ephemera to. We made these in one of our videos. And then we also made this in a video. And it's closed up, but you can see that again, it has a bunch of perfume bottles and tags and, but everything's got rose theme, right? And then we have the giant one that I was gonna work on in a video, but my video quit, so I finished it. I lost a lot of stuff on that video. Maybe some of this was made on that video. I don't remember. But so there are two pockets there. So there's quite a bit. There's four pockets here just in the main area. So I'm going to pop this stuff back in. Um, I think that was in the back. It doesn't want to fit there. So anyway, um, I will chat with you while I put this all back together. Or maybe I won't. I don't know. <laughs> Let me see if I can get some of this back in here. Oh. 
I love these little perfume bottles. Oh, they are stunning. These are Shabby Dabby Doodah, by the way. The perfume bottles, the whole set of perfume stuff is Shabby Dabby Doodah. I'm gonna... This probably isn't in here the way I originally did it, but, you know. It's hard to get things back in once you take them out. You know how that is. So let me do that. There we go. There we go. There we go. I got it. I have it. I mean, it all fits. His pockets are pretty deep. Let's see. Nope, that one's not a deep one. That's the, whoopsie. That's the one that's not deep. Oh, gosh. Drop that on the floor. Well, anyway, I don't think I'll try to get this back in here right now. I think it's going to be just too hard. I'll reload it when I'm not on camera and get it ready to go into the shop. I've got to take photographs anyway, right? I probably should have took them before I took it all apart. <laughs> I'm going to move that off my desk. Now, um, I also need to finish up probably my next project off camera is to finish this. Um, this one's already sold though. It already has a home. This is the uh, Jane Austen one, you know, that's what does all the flips and flops and stuff. So that I'll be working on when I'm not on camera again. So that is what I've been working on. All those bits of ephemera, all those bags, trying to finish everything up. So I want to share with you, I got my order in from my lovely friend, Woodland Inspired Celeste. Yay. So I can wrap all the ribbons for, from the shop that I had gotten for the shop and I kept for myself. And then she had sent me some beautiful thank yous. And I don't know if they're all here because I had put some away. And it was on a, I, I opened it um, on a video and of course the video quit on me. So we have this beautiful chandelier and a candelabra. Um, let's see. Okay, so that's the chandelier. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, wow. Isn't that beautiful? Celeste makes these. You can get these in her shop. I'm going to be using these. I put them in a, and this is the candelabra. I'm going to be using these in a uh, Marie Antoinette journal. And that's why I had put them away. So I was like, oh no, I got to go find it so I could share it with you because I did it on a video. I opened it and well, the video had issues and I couldn't use it. So it's going in a, a stunning um, medieval mirage Antoinette, Marie Antoinette journal I'm going to be making, or I don't know if it'll be a journal or whatever. She also, I just found these yesterday, Celeste. I'm so sorry. While I was cleaning, somehow this got mixed in with stuff. And she created all these gorgeous corners. Aren't these beautiful? Um, they each came in a little baggie. And there's, I think, I think there's four of them. One for, you know, for each corner if you were doing a book or something. But these are the, oh, these are gorgeous, Les. I didn't see them. They were such a little package. It got separated. But you could see all the corners. See how they're all cut out? They're intricate. Here, let me see if I can get my thumb off of it so you can see. So that's one style. And then in the tiniest little envelope, two style. Uh, three. And... Eh, four. So she, I don't know if they're, how they're sold. I don't, I didn't go look. I apologize, but I didn't have time. I really wanted to get this video up. So I've got to put these where I can find them and use them in my journals or my, on my ephemera. So thank you. Thank you, Celeste. She always sends me the most beautiful thank yous. And I believe there were other things, but like I said, I put them away because I had done the video. Then when I went and looked at the video, it had so many problems that I had to delete it. She sent me gorgeous little thank you stamp and that cute and little mini envelope. And then she sent me a beautiful note, um, which I just wanted to show you the note paper. Isn't that beautiful? And then she wrote me a, a note in there. So, which all of which she put it, she put it on a piece of paper so I could use the note and the envelope. Aren't you sweet? Thank you, sweetheart. You made sure I could use every bit of everything you send. Seemed like I had a few other things in there, but I honestly, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what they were, but, um, Again, it's Woodland Inspired, so she is the fabulous shop that I love and shop at on a regular basis, and I can't wait to fill up my, my spools. Oh, my goodness. There's always a million things to do, isn't there, you guys? I mean, gosh, you just don't, can't get it all done. 
all the projects you want to do. I want to put these somewhere I do not lose them. <laughs> so, I know. I want to, I really want to use these on something. So, I, I'm going to have to find a place where I, I can see them on a regular basis. I'm not sure where that's going to be. So, anyway, that's what I had to share with you. But I thought if you want to hang around for a little bit, we could do a little crafty crafty. I have a, my project baskets here. And... Um, what's in my basket is it's, it's on my so what's on my desk too. So I finished everything that was in these baskets and then grabbed stuff from everywhere and created another one. I want to do this. I want to make a journal cover out of this. I think um, some kind of pretty journal cover. And I'll probably put it up for sale. I had extras of all of this, so I will probably create a bundle here out of all these goodies to put in the shop at some point. I've got an envelope that needs decorating. I have a lot of scraps and I want to do some collage cards. I'll probably do. Oh yeah, I had my darling bunnies. I'm trying to decide if these are done. I'll make sure they're done and then they can go in. These are antique bunnies. They're not Easter bunnies. No, absolutely not Easter bunnies. Then I have these lovely paper clips that I wanted to make some more of. Where is the original one? Oh, here it is. It's these. I did a video on these. It was one of one of my lace videos, I think. Um, I wanted to make some more of these um, and create a set maybe or put them in with some of my, you know. Um, so this is a, Oh, and then I think this is what we'll work on here. I, in my hoardy box, I found this darling little uh, pouch, pocket, pocket pouch, envelope, what do you call it? Yeah, pocket pouch that I had made in a video probably, I don't know if I did or not, or if I made these with Rachel at Roxy Creations. This looks like one of her um, from last year that has pockets here. And then this, then I filled it with pretty heavy, do I backed all these pieces of ephemera from her. This is Rachel at Roxy Creations. So what I did was just brand new kits out, a brand new kit, which I think is what we're going to work on. You could do this with any kind of paper or whatever you, any kind of substrate. So all I did was print on both sides, or you can back it on both sides and fold it in half. And then it seems like what I may have done with these is, yep, I turned it up to make the pockets. Um, so what I want to do, I think I'm going to use my scoreboard because this is a cardstock and it's a, um, what do you want to call it? Um, parchment cardstock that you print on and it's very heavy. And so I want to turn it up and I have to see how many inches, where do I want to cut, turn this up at? Because this is 11, 10 and a half long because I trimmed off all the edges, right? So... It looks like it's six and three quarters. So maybe we'll make it at six and a half, six and three quarters. Well, let's try it. Let's see. I think that's a good size to stick in something. That's going to make a pretty tall pocket. Let's see if that's even going to work. I don't know. So let's just make it at seven. And I know it's going to need quite a bit. Let's see if that's going to work for us. There we go. And then we return it like that. Okay. So that's about right. Yeah, seven will work. I mean, it doesn't have to be exact to that because I, I don't I don't remember how we made those, honestly. It's been so long. It was last year. But I really liked them. And I thought, oh, that would be great. So a trick for you guys is, one, use some kind of a really hard um, surface. It could be the handle of a scissor. It can be a bone folder. I mean, there's all different kinds of those. Whatever you need. Then you're gonna take and you're gonna fold it long ways again. Let me show you a little trick. Because there's bulk here, you'll notice it's very bulky, doesn't wanna stay closed, kind of too much in there. So what I like to do is fold it back in half again, and we're gonna cut out a tiny little V. So we're gonna go wide at the top and skinny down to the fold. And that takes out some of the bulk. See how easy it closes now? I mean, this is very stiff. So if you're working with a very stiff cardstock, I think you're going to find that it's... Um, I want, what I thought I would do is make thank you, these into thank you gifts for when you purchase something from me. And also to put in my journals, you know. I have two document journals that um, are... <sighs> Roxy Creations that I've made but aren't decorated. 
So I'm going to cut this a little bit. I don't like that edge. There we go. That was bugging me. Oh, better. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I am going to round the corners because I want it to be a little more, a little softer. Excuse me having trouble with my words. I haven't made a video in a week and a half, two weeks. And um, I've had a lot, a lot of migraines. So um, that's what's kept me out. So I'm, I'm, I don't have all of my words today. I apologize. I've had so much medication. I honestly don't know my name. All right. So we would just glue those down and you've got this beautiful little folder. So first thing I do want to do before I do that, I'll finish one completely and then we'll mass make them real quick. And we'll call this a craft with me because you can get any paper, any cardstock, any scrapbook paper, whatever you got that you want to play with. You want to make yourself some little folders as gifts. Mother's Day is coming. This would be wonderful with a gift card in it, decorated up, you know, and a little letter to your mom or your someone else that you maybe grandmother or someone you buy for for Mother's Day. Um, I don't have a mom. My mom has been gone a long, long time. And my mother-in-law as well. We lost her just before we lost my dad a few years ago. So, yeah, I don't have anyone to make these for. So, But I have girlfriends. And I can certainly, could certainly do that if this was their style, which it isn't. So, <laughs> um, I think they're going to be going in my journals and, you know, I don't know, maybe that purple one for my daughter. I don't know. Okay, I just want to do one that I inked all up in front of you. I'm doing the whole thing for you. Then what I like to do with these is I'm going to take a line of glue. And this is Rachel's brand new kit. It's called Pretty Background Papers. Ah. And she just put this out. It just came out at Rachel at Roxy Creations. I have just about every single kit she's ever made. I think there's only a few things I don't have. And eventually I probably will have all of them because I'll do a project and go, oh, I need that, you know, and then go see if she has it. But usually I've got everything. I've also bought a number for kids uh, more than once. Some of them I bought two or three times because I thought I didn't have them. Couldn't find the digital file. Uh, I get these, I, I do the PDF, so I couldn't find the PDF file. There you go. Now I don't close the middle because I want to be able to slide a number of things in there, you know, and give myself some room. You could close, close it right here. And then, and you could take out a little notch if you wanted, totally up to you. You could decorate this whole thing. Now, what did I do with this? Oh, I decorated these. See, I did decorate. Am I on camera, you guys? Was I off camera the whole time? I hope not. I've got this lined up really weird. I don't know what I did. Yeah, see, this is all decorated and then it's got bits. Decorated on the outside, but not the back. I did wrap it with some lace on the edge. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to open this. Make sure that's the top. And I am going to score it at seven. So I can have a nice little bundle of these, right? Okay, I just want to make sure. So I'll leave that up there. And I'm going to put this, make sure that's the top. Everything's going the right way. Because there is enough writing on here that I can tell where things go. Now you could have your, you could make these taller. Which actually I probably should do a few that are taller. Because sometimes I do a tall journal. Let's see, how wide are these? These are three and three quarters. They might fit in a tall journal. But... Is this the purple one? I'm just checking. Yeah, that is the purple one. That would be a good one for, for somebody for Mother's Day. Okay, we got that one. Let's make this one taller. Let's put it at eight. Oh, oh it moved on me. Darn it. It won't hurt it to have a few extra lines, believe me. Yeah, there we go. And if you get the extra, you know, after you cut it and it's still hanging out, you just trim it. Yeah, that's a nice size too. That eight is very nice. Yeah, that works too in a taller journal. 
I think I'll do this one that way too, because I really like the pattern on the front and I don't really want to lose it all. So let's do this one at eight. And I'm pushing down pretty hard because this is very thick cardstock. Yeah. Okay, so there's some long ones. I'm looking to see what all my patterns are. This one we'll do at the seven. You do it at six if you only want it six inches tall, depending upon how big a pocket or how what you want to do with it. So that goes that size. And let's see. Oh, these are so pretty. I hate to fold them up. Ugh, this definitely is going to be an eight. Like I said, I do have the tall journals, but it'd be, it's not... It would be fun to fill this full of ephemera and give it as a thank you or a happy mail. Yeah, that one's really plain. You could do some real decorating on there. And then, ooh, look at that pretty pocket. Ah, love it. Okay, and so how many of those do I have? One, two, three, four, and then I have one, two, three, and that makes that one four. So let's do... I'm going to do this again in eight because I like to make the, <clears throat> pardon me, my voice. I like to make the tall journals. So this gives me ephemera for the tall journals. As you know, flip flop, that kind of thing. I, I like to make them tall. So there we have it. They're all, let me see what time is it. Okay. We have time to cut our notches out and then I'll probably if we have time to decorate one if you guys want to see one decorated or not usually you tell me you like to see them decorated so now we have oh so many fun things to play with don't we so we're going to take and fold these tall again so right at the fold we're going to create that v but we have to make sure we see this fold here so what i'm going to do before i do any cutting i am going to burnish that right so I can see where I'm going and you got to curve it just a little bit at the last minute and you could see it's very tiny very very tiny that we're cutting out right but that allows us some space right here so when you fold it you don't have all the bulk in there and it will stay closed better so that's the goal of that all right that one's done let's do this one we're going to burnish this so we could see our line really well. Also, this is definitely kind of a craft with me. Um, Mr. Greg is thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your fabulous prayers and well wishes for Mr. Greg. He is, I don't know. The blisters are gone, and uh, but he has an, a rash again. As soon as the blisters uh, popped and then the scabs and then, sorry, it's gross, I know. Um, healed. He has shingles, for those of you that don't know. Um, my husband. And he's the one who puts our videos up, so we need him to be well. Uh, he's the one who does all the writing and, and you know, um, <sighs> picks out the time, schedules them, does all the writing, does the actual posting of the, di of the videos that I make here, this video here. So if he's not well, there's no videos, right? So he's been very sick and um, in a lot of pain. In a lot of pain, they've had to add a nerve medicine that he's been steadily having to up it this is three weeks guys and he is still not it's not gone because we had the blisters and then we had the scabs put medication on that so that he didn't get an infection and then that healed and then he got another rash again and more pain so nerve pain the nerve pain's the worst i think he didn't really mind the blisters at all it's the pain that's underneath them that is the painful part for him Oh, you don't get a lot of sleep, so you can't really move around a lot. If you do too much, it comes back with a vengeance. So now he will see the doctor this week because we have to figure out, is he almost done? How long is this? does the doctor think this is going to continue to go? He took the antivirals. He had two different antivirals. The first one didn't work. So, you know, it was rough. Oh, that one's done. Go to this one. Um, 
So he had his antivirals, two different ones. He was on it longer than the seven days with the two different ones. So just to really, because he had a bad, he had shingles very bad. And um, he and I didn't think he'd had chicken pox because his mom couldn't remember. But what it was is he had him, his brother didn't, we found out. So his brother got both chicken pox and shingles as an adult. Ugh. So yeah, that was not fun for him. And so now Greg has gotten the shingles and his mom had them really bad. So no one in my family, except my aunts who got it because they got the shot. They both, they all got shingles from the shot. They didn't ever have any. And then they got them and those who didn't get shots in the family didn't get the shingles. So I don't know. I'm on the fence about the shot. So, and then, you know, the doctor saying to Greg, well, after, you know, you get well, we want you to get a shot. He's like, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not taking a chance that it wakens this thing up again. If I ever get rid of it, we're on three weeks. And it's like, it's no sign of letting up. He's not used to being sick, guys. This is a strong man. He doesn't even get head colds. I mean, maybe twice a year he'll get like a sinus thing from the change of allergies. But not even all the time. Just once in a while. And it took us three, almost four years to get COVID. We didn't get it right away. We picked it up in a doctor's office, believe it or not. It's the only place we'd been and came home. And then three days later, we had COVID. So, I don't know. He's a strong guy. He popped out of that fairly well. But, boy, this time he is not popping out of this. And it's required quite a bit of care for his back from me. Which I don't mind doing, of course. But, you know, it's getting old, though, for both of us. Our daughter's been trying to help out with everything. And... I mean, I'm getting to a point where it's hard for me to go out with my legs. So getting to a point though where I'm going to have to go do the banking and um, errands and um, because he's not supposed to be out and about. He's contagious to anyone who hasn't had chicken pox. <sighs> so. He is hanging in there, guys, but he's not as good as I'd like, but he's not worse. He's just not better. So, all right, look at that. We have... Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight of them. Yay! Aren't they pretty? Is this the one I was thinking for my girl? Yeah, I was thinking maybe that one. Maybe. They're kind of plain, which is what I wanted because I want to be able to decorate them all up and make them look real pretty. Yeah, aren't that pretty? Aren't these gorgeous? Ugh. And they're so pretty. Now, this is in, uh, it's printed on the um parchment but if you were to look at them these are rachel's papers uh in just a regular printer paper oh look at these look at how gorgeous they are they're very bright and very oof, yummy look at that oh beautiful background pages to use however you want to use them right so i think i've shown you all these yep there they are and there were two sets you could either get it in tall which is i use the tall or she has the um and they're different papers the horizontal and aren't they gorgeous too beautiful now you could go the other way and just make a tiny little pocket at the bottom if you wanted but yeah gorgeous right oh and these are pretty background, pretty little background papers. Rachel at Roxy Creations on Etsy. Okay, so there we have it. What time do we have? 38. We could do a little something, something, I think. I'm not sure, but I think we could. I have a bunch of ladies, and I was, I'm looking to see if I have any that are kind of ready to go mm. now these are Rachel's these are her Italian Victorian Italian ladies I believe and oh my goodness they are beautiful Ugh. those are bits and pieces so I wouldn't put it on that one because that's the one for Jolene I have to figure out I'll see if I can find something in purple that she would like she might like like the ladies that are all in purple on there and then add purple lace and things. I might do that. That one might work. Well, that's a possibility for that one. And then I want to see what's here. These are from Rachel's kits. 
So I was thinking about, she is just stunning. She'd be pretty on there. I haven't worked with these in a little while, so I've kind of forgotten what's here. And I know they're not all here right now. I'm pretty sure I've used a bunch of them. So, but my thought was that I would, you know, put them on there and add some labels and some pretty stamps and, um, and stuff like that. So first thing I'm going to do though, is I'm going to cut this off the bottom because that makes a lovely label that I could use or make into a label. Then I'm going to cut up the sides because she's going to get fussy cut. So, ooh. can I use anything from there? No, not really, but I kind of like the color. So I'll just throw that in there. Now there's another one I've cut off the bottom, but maybe let's keep the one with the one that I have. Now I could just put her on like that, you know, straighten that up and put it on like that. Or I could fussy cut around her like these ladies. If you fussy cut around them, then you don't lose anything behind them. So it's kind of a, mm, what do I want to do? That's not very straight, but if I cut any more, I'll cut off her hand. Eh. Well, let me see what I could do with this. What's new with you guys? You do anything exciting? I didn't have a lot to do today because I'm sort of crafted out. I've got a lot of shipping. I've got to get out some orders um, and get stuff in the shop. I've got some bills to pay. I've got to do some actual, what do you want to call it? Administrative work for the shop and for my own part of the business, you know, for, for the Vintage Paper Girl part of the business. So I have to get some of that done. So I'm things to do oh I definitely want lace on the edge and now this has become my favorite lace oh as soon as I can get it out I'll show you we do carry this in the shop it is perfect for using on a spine this one right here we carry this in our shop and it's perfect for putting on your if you want to add a little lace border and I'm gonna grab I keep cleaning my mat but I've been on it I've been decorating so much that um, oh, I keep getting glue all over it. I found using the alcohol wipes or sanitizer, or any of that really works well to get rid of the fabric tech that gets stuck on here. Oh gosh. Okay. So it's coming on lunchtime. I'm getting hungry. Guys, <sighs> do anything exciting? I can't say we are. We're just toughing out the old shingle thing and have a million projects we need to be working on right now. May is about you know it for us uh, because then it gets too hot. If there's anything we need to do outside or clean the garage, it's going to get too hot real quick here. So it's like, oh no. Sorry, I wanted to turn that over a little bit. I didn't. Kind of put a little bit more on the front than I do on the back, but it kind of strengthens it a little. And I take my little scissors and I, I feel like I'm out in left field today. I don't know what, where I have my camera at. The arm is way over. I don't, the arm keeps moving is what's happening. Um, I did a video that you couldn't see anything I was doing because the arm had moved during the video. Ugh. So I had to delete that one. And I think that was the one that had all the goodies, all the good stuff on it. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> there was a lot on that video too. It was a full over an hour video. Yeah, I'm, I don't, gosh, I'm way off. Okay, sorry about that. Hopefully I wasn't too far off the where you couldn't see what I was doing. What happens when you don't do videos a lot? You know, because you're, and you're used to doing them, but you, you're, you're relying on your muscle memory or you're just, you know, rem remote control. <laughs> My remote control is broken, guys. Ah. That and I've been um, blocked. I just haven't been able to come up with anything good to do lately. I, I don't know what's going on, but I just, um, actually, I was stuck on those pieces that I was making, and my daughter 
started talking to me on the phone. And so she said, oh, just craft while you're talking to me. Well, when I did that, it was great because I turned off my brain and then I was able to craft. I'm looking for some something to put behind that, but I'm not finding anything I really like. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do I want anything behind that? Maybe I don't. Yeah, not that anyway. I need something brown. Maybe a little strip behind it. No, I think with that lace, I don't really need it. I think I'm just going to... I'll just put that on there. Oh, my allergies are driving me nuts. We had 80 degree weather. Then it dropped into the 40s. We got rain. It's been in the 40s, 50s. I think it might hit 60 today. It's damp out, so oh my gosh. But it did calm down some of the pollen. Hopefully it didn't do damage to any of the fruit. Because it wasn't a super, although I will tell you we had a horrible windstorm. So I'm hoping it did knock all the blossoms off. And now we have no cherry, uh, no, no, um, oh, apricots. This is the apricot valley here where we have tons and tons of apricots and Blenheim. And they're the best apricots in the world. In fact, worldwide, we sh they're shipped worldwide from here. Especially Asia, they love our apricots. And apricots, apricots, however you want to say that. Anyway, um, and last year we had rain at the wrong time. And so they lost most of their crop. And I'm hoping that didn't just happen again. Because the price of apricots went through the ceiling. We couldn't even afford them. We were like, oh, that's ridiculous. We're not going to spend $100 for, $150 for five pounds of apricots. Mm -mm, not doing it. I don't care how good they are. Yeah, I think I'm going to put this little tag on the bottom. That is so cute. It's a little bit long. I'm going to cut it just a little bit more. Is that going to work? Not quite. Oh, okay. Let's hope I don't cut it off. Talk about shaving. Okay, I've shaved it as much as I dare shave that. Ah, I hope you're enjoying this little craft along with me. Um, as you know, I don't do tutorials mainly because of my memory issues and the prep work that goes into it is exhausting. So I just don't have the energy for that. I apologize for those of you who are new, but I usually tell you what I'm thinking and what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Um, so you can learn from that, I guess. If you need a one, two, three, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not your girl, but I'm happy to share with you everything I know and what I do. So, you know, it's totally up to you as to how you like to learn. I know there's a lot of gals that they, they need that step by step. And unfortunately, in our journal world, we don't do a lot of that. There are some out there who, who do. Um, and I used to, but I, I just can't anymore. I apologize for that. It's just not my thing. But I'll chat with you and we'll talk about all kinds of things. And I'll tell you stories and we'll hang out. And I want a little number up there. I think she's looking pretty, huh? Let's see, what have I got? Which one of my books has the numbers in it? Mm, maybe this one? I'm not sure. No, that's the pink. Wrong one. Wrong one. How about this one? Yay, yes. And I also have definitions, too. Oh, that's really big. I wish I wasn't so big, but I like the blue. I do, I do. Mm hmm. Hmm. Mm. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. Do I have any cut? I don't think I have any navy blue ones cut. I think this is the only navy blue one I have left. Yeah, I mean, she had so few of these in the kit that once you use them, that's it. There aren't any more. You got to cut a whole sheet for them. This is Shabby Debbie Doodah. Oh, yes. I like that. Oh, my stomach's going to growl. If you hear it, pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. I'll put those back up there. There we go. Put that up on my, in front of me there. My book's in front of me. I hope that's going to continue to work out. It's kind of a full, I've kind of filled up that space pretty good. Um, yeah, I think that looks good. 
yeah, I was really, I didn't like anything I was making, guys. Everything I made, I hated. I just was like, yuck, don't like it, don't like it, don't like it. But talking to my daughter on the phone and just working without thinking, just while chatting, putting my brain on remote control, it seemed to do fine. I just zipped right through everything and felt good about what I was doing and thought about putting something under this, but I don't think I will. One's over there. No, I'll hide over here. Yeah, pretty. Yep, yep. Then I got an idea. Let's, I don't know if I have any. Oh, I do. Okay. I was going to say, I don't know if I have any sparkly stuff. Um, oops. I'm getting low on my pearls and things. I'm going to have to go shopping. That's just getting out. It's difficult right now. Especially I don't want to leave Greg alone too long. He, you know. Oh, I just added that and then maybe put a couple little ones at the bottom and we're good. And we decorated one. Where'd I go? Oh, there they went. Shh. Hello. Right in front of you. It's early in the day for me. But I want to get this video up and out to you right away so you know what was coming to the shop, what I've been working on, how Greg was doing. I'm hanging in there best I can. Good and bad days. I've had a lot of bad days, so I'm looking forward to hopefully some good ones this week. So let's move some of this mess. We don't need all this, but we have been busy, busy, busy. So we got a lot done today. We looked at things I just completed as well as had a quick little craft with me. So you can do this with any papers. So you can make yourself a bunch of little cute little folders that you can put cards or ephemera in. There, basic, not super fancy. Uh, I definitely will put some decorations there. Let's see if I can find, oh, I know what I want. Now, where are they? They're already, I think there's some already pre-cut, fingers crossed. Um, that I can find them. Oh, they're not pre-cut though, darn it. Oh, well, that's okay. These are more of Rachel's labels and things. So I'd like to put something over here. Well, that's pretty. Does it go? No, it doesn't go that way. It goes that way. Let's see what else we've got. Got a lot of her. A lot of labels and things. That's pretty. Why don't we do that one? This is Roxy Creations again. I ha like I said, I have tons and tons and tons of her stuff, but I love it because it's very antique, very vintage, very, very European. I mean, it all comes from Italy. Rachel resides in Remini, Italy. She is an Aussie girl, Aussie English girl, actually, that, oh, you can hear a jet in the sky. You can probably hear that coming in through the window. I've got the window open. It's a beautiful day. We've got the birdies singing and and the chimes from a little bit of breeze and a nice breeze coming in. It's about 60 degrees outside, but it's warm in this room because it's upstairs at the top of the house. So it is all the heat comes up here. When the heater goes on in the morning, this room gets pretty toasty. I actually have to open a window for a few minutes. There we go. So we put that on there and then we could put, you know, something, a number or something in there if we want. I'm trying to figure out where I want that. I'm just going to put it smack in the middle. Why not? Why not? Oh, we've already glued the pocket, so we're good to go on that. Let's see, where do I want to put that? I think I want to put it like that. It could go either way, right? Now, she has numbers, and she's got all kinds of fun little tags and things um, that you could put on there. Uh, what else has she got? I've also got her stamps, and I've got, this is Rachel Day, guys. <laughs> I have her stamps, and I have her tags, so there's plenty of goodies to use. Or I've got stuff from everywhere, right? I have, who do I have here? Oh, yes. These are not Rachel. These are, where did my little pocket go that these go in. Well, they disappeared. I'll put those up there away from everything. Let's see what we have here. 
these are Sam Pool Snippets. I absolutely love these. I use them often on everything. I hate it when people fumble around inside their little envelopes or, or their baggies or whatever. It drives me nuts to watch it. And then I, here I am, I'm doing it. I can see why it happens though, because, you know, well, I want to see what they're looking at. And you can't see anything as they're fumbling around in there. And you can't see anything when I do it either. So I'm just as bad. Eh, I just dumped a bunch of labels on the floor. Oh, no. I was hoping I had something here I could just use and not have to do a whole bunch with. But let's see. Oh, here are the birdies. Oh, well, they are squawky and talky today. Yeah, we've had high winds the last few days. It's been crazy. I could just pop that in the middle there. Or maybe over like that. Maybe over like that. We'll do that. Yeah, it's been really, really windy here. Clean. Oh, it's beautiful blue skies out today. Puffy white clouds. Light breeze. 60 degrees. A little chilly. The house was really cold. Actually, the heater came on a couple times in the night. Uh, which we have it set very low, so that will tell you how cold it was in the night. In fact, I told my husband, didn't you turn the heater down? He goes, yeah, I did. Came on twice, I think about 3 o'clock and again at 5. Oh, freezing last night. There we go. That looks kind of cool. Yeah, just simple things like that to decorate it. You don't have to get crazy. Not, I don't always have to. <laughs> For those of you who thought, oh, she only does over the top. No, I do both. I, I keep it a little bit simpler. Yes, there's some bling on there and there's a little bit of lace, but it's not over the top. So I think it's quite fun to do that. Maybe need a little number or something over there. I don't know if I have anything. I keep every little kind of word bit in here, even though these aren't always... Um, Sam's. They're, they're just... If I've cut off something from something I'm making, you know, and it's got a word or a, a letter or something on it that I think would be cool to use, I will um, put, you know, I'll keep it and I'll, and I'll use it. Well, that's kind of cute. Let's put that on there. It's like a little N-O, like for number. Cute. Yeah, I think Sam, what she said when she made these snippets way back was that these were all bits and pieces off of all original documents and letters and pictures and books or magazines that she had. So all of these are scanned off of original old antique documents and things. So antique bits and pieces. Oh, I love that on there. It's got a little crooked, but there we go. So there you are. That's all decorated. And I just, with my sleeves, knock more stuff on the floor. Oh, these, I can't wait till summer. Yikes. And I don't have any more sleeves, right? Ugh. I wanted to clean this up, but I, that's the only problem with dumping it out. I, I know I know why they don't dump their stuff out. But then again, I want to see what you're looking at. And I want you to see what I'm looking at. So there we go. I better cover that up or my glue will seal over. Oops, I lost a little blingy. Maybe I could put that bling on there. If I put some glue on it, I could. Let's add that tiny little bit of bling so we don't waste it. Otherwise, it's going in a garbage can. Oh, turn over. Turn over. Come on. I don't have any nails. I broke them all. There we go. I was cleaning up my studio a little bit yesterday from all my projects. I had so much stuff out. Oh, my goodness. Anytime I bring out a project, I pull out like a million things and then... You know, I've got to put them away. I haven't done that yet. So there we go. Isn't that pretty? So this is today's little project. And it came out, I think, pretty good. I'm happy with it. It just happens to be blue, but I think I'll do some of these others in my downtime. I was just thinking what could be nice and easy that we could just do real quickly. And then, you know, I showed off my, I won't put the big bag back on the table because it's a hot mess right now. But, um, right, can I get to any of the others? I threw everything on top of them. Oh boy. And then, you know, we put these on here. So we had a, we had a good day today, I think. We, we did some, we did some fun stuff. So there we go. 
So thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful week. I'm not sure if I'll be back with any more videos or not. Depends on how Mr. Greg's doing and how busy I am taking care of all this stuff for the house. Um, so I hope to see you all very soon. I love you all. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.